Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just kidding. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today is October 25th and I'm finally gonna be filming my long-awaited breast augmentation Q&A. So this is not in any order, I'm just going to read them off my phone. So the first question is, how did you choose your doctor? If you guys follow me on Instagram, which is gonna be right here, I follow Jenny69, which is a social media influencer and a YouTuber as well. And I've been following her for a very long time. I realized that she got her boobs done up north, I believe, with another doctor. And then um, she started going with Dr. Tanasia um, for lip fillers and stuff like that. And um, yeah. That's how I found out about Dr. Tanasia. I started following him for a year and then I started following other doctors as, and whatnot. And um, something about me wanting to consult specifically with that doctor just drew me in. So I started following him. I did reviews. I yelped him. I did everything. I went to like, there's like surgery sites that you can go and review your doctors and whatnot. And um, after a year of stalking and, and seeing stories and following other YouTubers I've gotten his breast implants by him, I decided to consult with Dr. Tanasia. And he is located in Pasadena and his surgical center is um, in Huntington Beach and it's called My Look Surgery. After the first consultation, a few months went by and I wanted a second consultation. So long story short, I had two consultations. The second one was more with him. I had a list of questions to ask him. He made me feel very comfortable. He's like, you know what? Ask me everything you want to know. This is a major surgery, so I, I believe you need to know. So yes, I asked him about everything, the pros, the cons, the recovery time, all that good stuff. So long story short, that is how I found my doctor through Jenny69. So number two, how much were they? Mine were 5,000 with 500 deposit down, and that's how you get your date. Um, you have to put the 500 down, and then as soon as you do that, they're like, okay, this is your date, blah, blah, blah. My date was on September 14th, and that was about a month and two or three weeks, a month, almost a month and a half ago. So there were 5,000, and then I also had to buy medication which was about a hundred or so, four different medications. Um, the surgical bra that I'm still wearing, which is I think like 15 bucks off of um, Amazon. And then, which leads me to the next two questions, did they hurt and how was recovery? I was hurting, not hurting real bad, but I couldn't move. My arms could barely do this. I had the mindset like I'm gonna be able to edit my videos during those 10 days off and whatnot. No, my mom helped me, my auntie helped me. So on top of that, I was paying them to help me. So all together, I mean, just the surgery itself was 5,000 plus the medication, plus the aftercare and plus the after bra stuff. Then I also had to buy a few more sports bras, so it all added up, but um, just the surgery, 5,000. So if you guys have seen me on my social media and all that stuff, you guys see me with just um, like a Lulu top, a flat Lulu top, and I was no cup. I was literally flat as a board, and if you guys saw my previous two videos, my first video before the operation, I show you how flat I was, I just had skin. I wasn't even, I would say maybe an A cup. So imagine doing, you know, a full C little D on like an A cup. So stretching that skin. Yes, it did hurt. Now I tolerate pain pretty well. So it wasn't like, oh my God, I'm dying. And I only took um, one of the medications, which was the Norco one time. And that was half a pill. Never again. So I stuck it out. Um, I had the muscle relaxers and Tylenol. As far as like pain i think the pain tolerance was a five i'm gonna say my recovery went really really well so from one to ten it was like a five um but in the morning when you have what we call stiff boob that was so painful and i still get it sometimes depending if i sleep on my side because you cannot sleep on your left or right you have to sleep up what preparations did i need before the surgery first of all you need to get your blood work done and then you need to get a um, medical clearance card by your doctor. You also need to pick up your prescriptions and you need to have accessible clothing. So I needed a few jackets and sweatpants. So this is all stuff I needed. I mean, I already had, but as far as prep, um, medication, blood work, medical clearance card, and surgical bra, obviously. And I think that was 
yeah, that's about it. I didn't really need too much. What size are they? Okay. So again, keep in mind, I was um, a size A, I would say, which is no boob. I had very minimal to no boob fat. Oh, it's under the muscle, 560 cc's, full C little D. And the Victoria's Secret, I have, I believe I'm a D. Why did I get them done? Of course, everyone asks, why do you get your boobs done? I've been wanting to get my boobs in since I was in high school, since I was 18. I'm gonna be 27 on November 5th, so in just a few days. So it's been a very long time of me thinking about it. How long did it take you to save up for it? It took me about a year and a half. If it's something I really want, I put all my pennies, pennies in my piggy bank. I'm serious. Every I do hair and makeup, so I get tips. So all my tips usually go towards that or the big object that I wanna buy. I got them done because I hated not filling in my shirts. I did feel self-conscious about my boobs. I would put on a shirt and my sports bra and it was like, boof. So I just wanted to be more proportioned as well. So yes, I felt discomfort because I, my skin was so tight and putting the implants in the first day of surgery, well, when I got out of surgery, it just felt like I had, like my skin was about to pop. I don't know how to describe it. It felt like an elephant was sitting on your chest and just, you know, I was so tiny that my skin stretching, that was a little bit of discomfort. Again though, I do want to refer to, I do take pain very, very well. Incisions are not that big. They're actually very small, maybe an inch, right under the boob. Um, and one month post-op, you get your stitches removed. Uh, no, it didn't hurt. Was I glad that I waited this long? Yes, I was. I wait it out and I really do my research on what I want to get done, what I want to purchase. And you know, patience is a key to life. So I have tons of patience and I believe at the right time and at the right moment, it will happen in life. And where I'm at now in my life, I'm very glad I got them done. Another question that I've been seeing going around and I know a lot of people go through is the breast implants illness. If it were to happen to me, which I pray to God that it does not, but if I were to have the breast implant illness, um, you know, I just get them removed. Simple as that. I get them removed and that's it. It's not my doctor's, it's not, it's, so if you're watching this video and you have had the breast implant illness and you had to get them removed, it's not your doctor's fault. It's just your body not accepting the foreign object. So it's not your doctor's fault. And I hate it when I see videos of the BII. Um, some girls did mention their doctor, yada, yada, yada. It's not. So if I were to get that, I wouldn't blame Dr. Tanasia. It's my body rejecting them. And you know, it's saying, hey, I don't want them in me. But um, I looked it up. I looked at videos. I looked at symptoms. And to tell you the truth, the symptoms that happen, I have already. Um, I do have PICOs, I have IBS, and those symptoms are like all alike and all the same. I did get a cold, so I was feeling more sick, but I can't say that because I got my boobs done, I'm more sick or more fatigued, I'm more tired, I don't have appetite, I feel gross. No, because I already know the cause of why I was feeling sick. So as far as, you know, what do I think about the breast implant illness? God forbid it happened to me, but if I do, if I do see those symptoms occur to me or in, are enhanced, because again, I've already had those symptoms due to my other things that I have. Um, if that were to happen to me, I would just go back to Dr. Tanasia and get them removed. But I pray they don't because I really like my boobs. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my intake on it. It's no, not too much. Um, that wasn't gonna stop me. I've been wanting this for such a long time and people are like, oh, would that stop you? Are you scared? I'm like, no, I researched it. I've had my mindset on breast implants for such a long time that, you know, whatever happens, happens, and um, I would just get them removed. The things they don't tell you about getting a breast implant. First time you massage them, it hurts. Stiff boob, but it hurts in the morning. Another thing they don't tell you is you have to sit, sleep like this. You can't even sleep like this because you're just in pain. You bloat really bad if you take the medication. If it's the first day, do not First or second day, do not eat solid foods. But stay hydrated because I was not drinking either, so I felt even more sick. All your current clothes will not fit you. I had to get rid of a lot of my shirts that didn't stretch because they don't fit anymore. And if your shirts are too tight or your new sports bras are too tight, your boobs hurt a lot. Yeah, those are a few things that they don't tell you and that's what I went through. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I answered a few questions. I will be getting another cosmetic procedure done. 
go ahead and follow me on my Instagram and don't forget to follow Dr. Tanasia because of course he will be doing it again. All right guys, so thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I answered a few questions. Until next time guys, goodbyes from my heart to yours. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. But again, follow me on social media because that is where I interact the most. All right, goodbye.